Hello, I'm Marc Allier and I'm going to uh, present our paper about how to use debates and role-playing uh, to teach how to apply um, ethical theories when dealing uh, with a dilemma. Uh, we're teaching this, we're using this technique in two courses, one in uh, computer science ethics, another in uh, principles of fundamentals of ethics and innovation in a sustainability master's course. So we're doing this in master's course and degree course. So the problem is uh, we want to teach the students how to apply ethical theories and uh, moral dilemmas. And uh, the course, well, as we said, is in the course of ethics fundamentals uh, in the Masters of Sustainability in UPC. And uh, I would like to answer to reviewer two, uh, the favorite person of every researcher. Hello, reviewer two. Um, the reviewer two uh, made a comment about why do we need to include uh, teaching uh, critical thinking into the in, in, into our teaching in the university. They should be dealt with uh, in the high school. But uh, according to the, especially in the Masters of Sustainability course, we know that we need to introduce critical thinking because every time we can see talking and doing debates with our students that they are, they, they follow formula, they belong to a, a tribe, especially in sustainability, they belong to a tribe, they follow formula, they repeat the, um, the lemmas, and, and the formulas and they don't want to think outside of the box. So we, we are really keen on the idea that we need to at least provide tools to uh, think critically and we think it's important for everybody. It's just for ethics. So let's present a dilemma. Uh, the dilemma that we used uh, is uh, during the Ukrainian invasion uh, there was um, rush of donations done to the Ukrainian Ministry of Defense using cryptocurrencies. And then to make it worse or more interesting even, the Ukrainian Ministry of Defense said that they were going to airdrop some NFTs to the ones making donations and uh, then the, a rush of more donations, sometimes of just one dollar or a fraction of Ethereum or other coins were sent to that and we said okay let's discuss this is this um this thing of donating using um cryptocurrencies uh, to a war effort in a foreign country something ethical or moral or not and it's crowdfunding a war ethical or not so let's think about it we don't know and we had to set the debate rules of course nobody expect the spanish inquisition so we had to provide a few rules and how it works so we separate using the grouping feature in moodle we separate the students in six teams and they, we give them a week to prepare the debate we set a we set up a, a forum and a separated forum for one for each team so they could start working and preparing ideas and brainstorming and that every group every group had a fixed point of view to defend they couldn't go with their uh, instincts their morals or the or the wishes or their of their tribe they had to defend or uh, go against or for a, a proposition a concrete proposition and each team was limited to using uh, arguments root in one or two fixed ethical, uh, fixed ethical theories. So they, they could apply, uh, apply Aristotel uh, Aristotelian virtual ethics, Kantianism, utilitarianism, and social contract. And you could use one of these, um, a fixed number of uh, reasoning. You couldn't use an uh, Aristotelian method uh, reasoning against if you, you were fixed to uh, Kant. So there, we limited there. We gave them one week and then we had uh, a couple of hours debate in class moderated by the professor. The professor uh, uh, was writing in the blackboard the best argumentations and counter argumentations in the blackboard. And in the end, we voted on different uh, on on the best arguments uh, pro and con the, 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 the dilemma that we were debating. So 
In the end, we asked the students if the case was useful to learn how to apply ethical theories, and it was uh, interesting for them. And then uh, some of the uh, most of them thought that it was uh, usual, uh, uh, useful to improve critical thinking. But we started to have uh, several uh, discrepancies there. And uh, the role play, they, uh, you, most of them, they liked the idea of role play, but some of them didn't. Some of them didn't want to defend uh, something that they were against. So there we have the case about critical thinking. They don't want to do it. Some of them don't want to do it, especially the guy in the, on the left, the one that was voting against. We know who it was because he was uh, really keen on Marxism. He didn't want to to follow through his um, his assignment and he just um, blurted Marxist uh, lemmas against uh, what he thought that was um, uh, morally wrong. So he didn't follow through with the assignment. He didn't want to role play. So there, we need that. Uh, he, again, uh, the role play debate, uh, there was this student who was against it. Uh, he didn't role play uh, actually. And the rest of the class thought that the role play thing was good, actually good for critical thinking. So there, and um, and that's it. Let's talk about it, especially with reviewer two. I love you, reviewer two. And uh, just to make an announcement, I didn't really want to be a professor ethics. I wanted to be. I wanted to be a lumberjack. Oh, I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. Sleep all night and I work all day. I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. Sleep all night and I work all day. I cut down trees, do my lunch, go to the lavatory. On Wednesdays I go shopping and I got the little for tea. Sleep all night and I work all day